switch back to the game against the Jets. So what I'm essentially going to show you, what we are essentially going to show you today is how a life-saving operation was created using a cardboard box and a smartphone. And that doesn't sound plausible, but it's true, and it happened right here. So about four months ago, two uh, twin girls were born, sisters, uh, Tegan and Riley. Uh, they were identical twins, but very early on you could tell that Tegan was different. And it turned out when they took her to the hospital that she was born with one lung and half a heart, which is a lethal set of heart defects. So she went to see the physicians uh, in her hometown, uh, and the family was given the, the the worst prognosis you can imagine, and they were told that she was inoperable. That's a word we hate here. Uh, and they were they were told that they should take her home and keep her comfortable. Um, this is what the doctor saw. This is what we saw when we first looked at Tegan. This is her chest x-ray. So what you can see is half of her chest, the left half, is filled with her deformed heart, and the other half is filled with her single lung. So this presents a unique challenge for cardiac catheterization and cardiac surgical repair because you can't open a textbook and find out how to do this operation. So the family uh, started searching. Um, Some of us thought we could come up with an operation. And so I went to Dr. Muniz and asked him what imaging technology we could use to come up with a repair that had never been done before. So at our team here, we've been working for the past year and a half on ways to represent the images we take of hearts using 3D technology because the, normally the imaging technology, the technology we use, whether it's CT or MRI scanning, shows the images on a flat plane, sort of like the images you're seeing behind you. Oh, and the uh, real this was actually one of the, the moments when we, when we got to actually see this technology. I was, I was pretty happy about it. And, um, we used the data that we got from the CT scan to generate those images and then um, use the Google Cardboard to actually look at them. You know, there are certainly more expensive technologies you can use to, to do, th you know, three-dimensional or virtual imaging, but I thought this was really elegant because it's essentially you a... You know when you get to go home and... Uh... Uh, we do not, um, and I know it's going to depend a lot on Tegan, how she's recovering, um, she was a very sick little girl, and she did have a very major operation. So we are just taking it day by day. It's what we did from the time she was born. We took every day for every day, um, knowing that it could very well be our last. And so we are very accustomed to taking every day by every day. So we get good news, and we're all that much more happier for it. So it's going to be a very special Christmas. Oh, this tell, is. Tell us about how special this <laughs> Christmas is going to be uh, on Friday. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a big day for us. You don't imagine having to spend your first Christmas away from home like we are doing in, in a hospital setting. But our first Christmas with twins is, I mean, what better gift could we have other than being given the gift of life for our baby girl again.